For weeks now, we've been telling you about the 13 ballot questions that Portland voters will face in November. One of those referendum questions is looking to change the city's minimum wage, but the effort is getting some pushback. News Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse brings us a closer look at controversial question four. Better wages, better tips, better Portland. That's the tagline for the groups advocating in favor of question D on Portland's ballot this November. The citizen-initiated referendum was introduced by the Maine Democratic Socialists of America and would raise the minimum wage in Portland to $18 an hour and eliminate the tip credit or sub-minimum wage. Portland values are standing up for workers, fighting for livable wages, and doing the right thing. The ballot question committee won fair wage, holding a press conference in support of question D Monday, highlighting a handful of servers, delivery drivers, and even restaurant owners like Corinna Stum in support of it. And we committed to minimum wage with tips on top to start a culture change and to do our part. Stum says since opening Ruby's West End a year ago, they've paid the full minimum wage to staff. We have an overwhelming positive response. Um, we always leave a line for additional tip for servers um, to receive directly from the guests. The restaurant has incorporated a 20% service fee. Stum says full-time servers here bring home between $26 and $36 an hour. But some servers in the city have fears if this is required for all restaurants, tipping will go by the wayside. As the base wage for tipped workers goes up, tips go down subsequently. Joshua Chasen says he's been waiting tables in Portland for the last 12 years and serving for 22. He also serves on the board of directors for the Restaurant Workers of America and is adamantly against the proposal. If question D were as to come to pass, you'd see an enormous shift towards counter service, eliminating the need for half the front of house staff. However, those on the other side of the aisle disagree and believe restaurants like Ruby's West End prove it could work. The leaders of One Fair Wage also accused the campaign against Question D of being funded by out-of-state corporate donations. Campaign filings show the National Restaurant Association donated $50,000 and Uber and DoorDash each donated $25,000 to the group Restaurant Workers United. One Fair Wage, based in Boston, donated $5,000 to One Fair Wage Portland and is the only contribution filed in the group's October quarterly report. In Portland, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.